So we'll be discussing about sepsis and septic shock and how do we manage this in ICU uh, based on the guidelines available currently. So you may come across many cases and let's go through two cases, two case scenarios here. We have a 72-year-old male patient brought to hospital with altered sensorium over the past two days in incontinence of urine. His respiratory rate is 32 per minute, oxygen sats are 84% on air, and on oxygen supplementation at 6 liters per minute. Uh, he's uh, saturating at 91%, and heart rate is 126, blood pressure 86 over 50 millimeters of mercury, capillary refill time much over three seconds. And the background, he has hypertension and on treatment, diabetic, previous CVA, coronary artery disease on antiplatelets, and admitted to hospital on multiple occasions. He hasn't got any drug allergies, and uh, his children live abroad, and he's taken care of by wife, who is also an elderly lady, with the help of a daytime attendant. So let's go through a second case scenario. A youngish lady, 27 years old, road traffic accident, crush injury left ankle and foot, debridement and external fixator to both bones of leg and foot was done. Wound was healing well till one week and then started discharging pus. High grade fevers, elevated leukocyte counts, tachypnea, tachycardia, hypotension, needing IV fluids and drop in urine output. Elevated leukocyte counts uh, and metabolic acidosis and serum creatinine is uh, 2.3. So if you go through these two cases, you can get a battery of questions to your mind. I, I have a big list of questions. You may not need all of, uh, mean, get all the questions to your mind, but these are general questions when we deal with such cases. So what is happening with this patient? Has he got an infection in the first place? And is the infection localized to a particular area or has it spread systematically? Systemically? And how, do, how should I resuscitate this patient? Oxygen and fluids. So how much oxygen should I give? And what fluid shall I start? And how much and how quick should I give? And should this treat, uh, patient be moved to a ward or ICU? And what are the various investigations to be done? And how critical is this patient's condition? And, and how would I get to know that? And, and if he has got an infection, how would I know that? And what is the treatment I'm going to give to save his life? And is there any means that I can prognosticate this patient's condition and explain to the family? And what is the organ system support that he would be needing so that I can prepare uh, the unit? And finally, uh, what would be the rough estimate of cost so that the family can prepare for the bill payments? Probably the, the last question may not be relevant in this setting, but if at all you're running a unit, and this question is also relevant um, to attend the family. Family's uh, preparedness. 